Hey everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. Now I realize not all of you have been to this channel before. If you're a new viewer and you don't know what we're all about around here, well, you're just gonna have to find out by watching this video. But before watching, if you guys like the video, if you could do me a huge favor, please give it a big thumbs up. It's just right down here, click the thumbs up button. Thank you. I woke up this morning and we decided we needed to do a parts run. Since tomorrow is Sunday, we have one piece on the combine we noticed has a little crack in it. And if that piece actually breaks out tomorrow, then we're gonna have to wait till Monday to continue combining. So we're gonna run up, grab this part quick, run back, and then we'll hop in the green cart and we'll start combining away. Cooper, Chuck, Dad, and Grandpa John are all out there right now. They're running the combine, but we're only running one grain cart and we're in the field for two grain carts. It's really nice to have, otherwise the combine sits a lot. So we're gonna run in, grab this part, run back, and get to it. Look at all those machines. Good to go. Hey, Case IH, if you're watching this, I'd gladly demo one of these tractors for the spring. Typical John Deere. It's not even that cold. I don't like just beating on a cold engine, but it's like 39 degrees right now, so it should be okay. We're gonna let her warm up nice, then go combine some corn. <sighs> Smells like diesel. Don't wanna forget to put that down. Bad day if you hit that on something. That is super trippy. Does this one do it too? Oh my. I invented a new type of tire that doesn't spin, but yet moves. <laughs> I'm gonna be a billionaire. Hey, look who it is. All right, guys, if you don't know, once again, this is Nava, not Ava, Nava. Yeah. I'm gonna give her camera duties. Nava, if we get hungry later, I, I got countries. Dr. Cole. Nava's ridden in the case tractor before when we were running the grain cart, but not the John Deere, so this is the first for her. I like this one better. Good. <laughs> I'm teaching Nava how to drive everything. She's gung-ho about it all. She drove the case one day by herself for like two hours running the grain cart. She drove the combine by herself. Now I'm teaching her to run this one. We're gonna look and see how good of a job the combine's doing as separating right now. Dig through some trash for a little bit, see what I can find. So far, so good. Ah, there we go. There's all our profits. Fun fact, this corn cob right here, no one put it in there. When we were driving behind the combine, a piece shot out and it landed in there. What are the chances of that? I don't know, but we're keeping it there for the season. Neva, Cooper's getting far away. We better go chase him down. We're gonna teach her to drive. I'll drive the first load here, that way she can learn on this tractor. It's not much different than the case, but just a little bit, and then we'll let her take over. Okay, so I got to drive the tractor. The first one was the case, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the red one. I liked that one. This one seems more complicated, I think. But it was really fun. I was really nervous. Cole's a really good teacher. <laughs> And he has a lot of patience with me because I can be silly sometimes. All the know. all the time. Yeah, but anyways, I was really nervous. But it wasn't really that bad. I like driving the combine more though. That was that was actually really fun. I would love to do that again. I'm probably gonna do that again. I'm stealing your job. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Doesn't look good. If I had 
a guess. I'm gonna say dad is pretty grumpy right now. Just a guess. Daddy Cornstar was just so strong that when you turn this, these bolts broke, so we just slapped some new ones in there and we're good to go. I think Nave is tired. You looked like a little kitten when you were sleeping like that. Mm -hmm. I was tired. <laughs> Hey Coop, why don't you stop quick and let's open your sieves a little. Okay, we're switching. We're gonna let the pro do it. She knows to push in the clutch. I suppose this means that Nava's learning really well because I really didn't even have to teach her to do anything in this. She just kind of hopped in and took off. She's never done an unload on the go before, so today's gonna be her first time. All right, now pull back on that red one a little bit. Good. Oh my gosh, I'm doing it! <laughs> I'm doing it! I'm a farmer! <laughs> Since he's kind of leaning at an angle right now, if you're too far over, you'll fill him full and you'll never see the pile because it'll just be dumping on the ground on the other side. I've never done that before. Just kidding. The only reason why I know that is because I kind of learned the hard way. For her first ever unload on a semi, it was really, really good. Let alone doing it on the road. The road is the hardest place to load. Nava's gonna pick this up quick. Cooper just called, he said he needs fuel. Nava's gonna run the John Deere. Chuck's running the case somewhere over there. I like this. I like this a lot. Black to red and red to black. What is going on? Do you like it? Oh shoot, I'm stuck. I got you. <laughs> I was feeling a little corny today. And I decided to come spend some time with Cooper and ride with him in the combine. The corn on this field is going to our local co-op. Our local co-op closes at six o'clock tonight. It's five o'clock right now, and we got about 10 acres left. We can do about 10 acres an hour on a really good field. We're gonna be cutting it close. It wouldn't really be an issue. We have two grain carts and two semis we're working with right now, so we have plenty of storage, but we would kind of like to continue harvesting on after six o'clock. So once six o'clock rolls around and the co-op shuts off, we're gonna head down the road three miles, go to another farm. That corn's gonna be going back to our bin site, and then we'll be able to run a lot longer hours, basically until we get tired. So hopefully we can get this done yet in the next hour. I think Cooper might be having a little bit of combine trouble. We're gonna go down there and check it out. Never fails. Drove all the way down to Cooper to see what was wrong, then he gets in the combine, and takes off, and it's working just fine. I guess it's better that than something being broke. Nap time. I agree. <laughs> We're gonna teach Neva how to back up a trailer real quick. I don't think she's ever backed one up before, so this is gonna be kind of exciting. It's really important on the farm to know how to back stuff up because you're always backing things into tight places all the time. We're out here in an open field right now with a grain cart. The grain cart is arguably the easiest thing to back up and there's really nothing we can hit out here. So, perfect place to learn. Take it away. Clutch, 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 clutch. Break, see how that's angled like that? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Hey, you gotta look back. The biggest thing with backing up is just take it slow and just get a feel for what turning the steering wheel does to the trailer. Okay. 
because the principles that apply in this apply to any kind of trailer. Another little change of plans. Instead of jumping to a different field in the dark, we all kind of had plans for tonight that we kind of wanted to do. So we quit early. We're going to get a good jump on it in the morning. We've run several days to one o'clock in the morning for the past week or better. So it's going to give us a little bit of a rest. We're going to recharge and we'll hit it hard in the morning. The big machine shed is starting to get full, so we need to move some equipment so that way the corn doesn't swallow the equipment. And then we'll start combining some corn. As you guys can clearly see, the corn is getting very close to the 4880 Massey Ferguson four-wheel drive tractor that just so happens to have a flat tire. Not only does it have one flat tire, it has two. Hopefully our tire guy can get out this week to jack this up and put the new one on that we ordered two years ago and should have been put on a long time ago, but has it and stuff comes up, I understand. But hopefully we can get this done. Get ready to watch our mosquito population go from a lot to none. Now we got all kinds of room for activities. What are you doing in here? warm in here. It's a bit chilly out this morning, just a little bit above 30 degrees Fahrenheit, whatever that translates into Celsius for you guys. Basically zero degrees Celsius, if my memory recollects. We've had all the equipment running for about 15 minutes now, so all the engines are nice and warm. Everything should be ready to roll. Combine's full of diesel, all greased up, chains checked, belts checked. Same thing on this tractor. They're servicing the case tractor right now. Then dad just has one more semi to bring out to the field. Chuck will bring the case out to the field. Will be eagle. Once again, farming should just be called logistics. Clutch, make sure it's in gear. Steering wheel, clutch out, slowly. Gear, throttle, steering wheel, gear, steering wheel, gear, two gears, throttle, steering wheel, gear. Here we go guys, the famous jerk o -matic transmission. And the even more famous seventh, eighth in the jerk o -matic John Deere transmission. A lot of people ask which one I like better, the Case or the John Deere. They both have things I like about them and they both have things I don't like about them. One of the things I don't like about the John Deere is that there's only eight gears and they're jerky. The Case has 18 gears, so it has a nice betweener gear for sometimes you're at that right speed where one gear is too slow and the other gear is too fast. But on the Case, you can find that nice between one and it works really well. One thing I don't like about the Case is that the front end of the tractor is really light. So when you're pulling 45,000 pounds, which is probably a little bit much for that tractor, it tends to kind of push it around. Or I, I should say it doesn't really push it around, but you turn the steering wheel and you don't turn. So when that happens, we have our right wheel brake and our left wheel brake. So we can turn with our brakes, which helps us a lot. I don't know what it is about the John Deere, if the weight's just distributed better or what, but it turns a lot nicer when you have a full load on you. But you can't pull as much with this tractor either because this tractor has about 30 horsepower less than the case. The tractor I'm in right now is a 1981 John Deere 4840. It's got the eight speed transmission in it and it's kind of known for being really jerky. That's why people call it the jerk o -matic. It is what it is and it works for us. We've had it for several years now. The jerky transmission is just kind of one of the quirks of this tractor. I know a lot of people back in the day didn't like it. Might be jerky, but it's still working. So we don't complain. field we're combining right now we call tabletop. We call it tabletop because it's square and it's flat. So 
resembles a tabletop. On paper, this is our best farm, and on paper, I mean our corn suitability rating. This has the highest corn suitability rating out of any farm we have. Out of a scale of 100, this is ranked at a 99, so pretty much top quality ground. We're running two carts right now with an eight-row corn head on the combine. Not really a feel that we need two grain carts in, but it is kind of nice to have because then it slows down the pace of the grain carts. It's got half mile long rows, so by the time you get to the end, you're full, and then you turn around, you do an unload on the go on the way back, and it basically keeps the grain cart pumping pretty good. If you're running one, you're running really fast across the field, bouncing around a lot. I only have a 600 bushel grain cart on this tractor right now, and the other one's got a 750. The other one could keep up a lot better, but it's just kind of nice to have two running, and then we can just run nice, easy speeds across the field. We're not bouncing around 100 miles an hour. This makes it a lot more comfortable. We have the second cart, so why not use it? While well, I'm waiting for the other grain cart to fill, I can catch up on sleep if I want to. I can listen to the radio. I can pray. I can read the Bible. And I can also sit here thinking about how good this Scotch Roo is going to taste. Seems like the longer harvest goes on, the earlier I get hungry. It's maybe like 9.30 and I'm hungry. For some reason, I feel like Dad's going to want to get pizza again for lunch. We will see. Hopefully Mom makes something. That'd be kind of nice. Cooper just called over the radio here and he said he's getting a lot of cobs in the tank. So we're going to adjust the sieves on the combine again to take care of that issue. Sometimes jumping from field to field, you have different size ears, different size cobs. So sometimes in one field you might have the sieves adjusted correctly, jump to the next and now it's not. So you always got to keep an eye on that kind of stuff. On a really good day, I'll do this job right here 40 times. Usually we don't have that good of a day though. So usually closer to 30. Finally, Dad pulled in with lunch. Uh, you can say I'm pretty excited that we're having pizza again. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but that's a nice little eight point buck. 12 year old kid would be pretty happy if he got one of those and he was hunting. I don't know why he ran away. We're into John Deere, so we have deer in the name of the tractor, therefore technically the same bloodline. There's quite a few areas like this in this field. Spots like this are caused by wet spots. That area was pretty soggy this past spring, so when we planted it, not everything grew out of it. And then we got out of the wet spot here and now you can see a nice and healthy stand. We can't be dropping all our profits like this. We gotta get these in the corn head. Gotta line it up perfectly. As soon as we throw, we better run or we're gonna get pelted. Yeah. You guys wanna know something really cool? Cooper just called over the radio he said, hey, the combine just quit moving. That's not good. We climbed all around the machine. We don't see any oil leaking anywhere. All the fluids are good on levels. He can start the combine. We tried putting it in every gear. Nothing. I kind of have a feeling it might be the hydraulic pump. Just a hunch. I don't know for sure. I'm not a certified mechanic, but that's my guess. And if that is the case, that's expensive. We're gonna bring everything home tonight since it's supposed to snow, get everything plugged in, get everything that we can in the heat. Oh yeah, the snow started too. Shop's still dirty. Gonna pull those tractors in quick so that way they're out of the cold, out of the snow, and then we need to change the oil on the case tomorrow too. It's a lot nicer to do that in the heat than out in the cold. Okay, now, this is the end of the video. Remember, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, write it down in the comment. Ugh, can't speak. Write it down in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Why do I always do this? See ya.